So two buttons now, one for power, and then the other one for an LED light. Because when you're in a dark place and you're trying to get the dark place, you know what I mean? You can see it. <laughs> and these blades aren't just for looks, they're engineered for excellence. The update trimmer blades feature a longer, wider, rounder teeth to tackle hair effortlessly, while the foil blade provides a sleek, smooth finish. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's not easy to just take off this blade for it. The way that I'm putting on these clips and attacking my hair, it looks like John Wick. I walk in, there's hair everywhere. What? I need to get to this brood. <laughs> <laughs> but all joking aside, I never ever travel without my Manscaped. So if you guys want this with 20% off plus free shipping, use my code George. Link is in the description. Hit the gold standard, baby. I just find it fascinating that they do drop the ball on certain equations that you're mentioning. But at the other hand of it, they don't poison and their citizens. Well, no, actually, food is actually way healthier. That's what I'm saying. Um, okay. well, like, way healthier. Uh, yeah, so, so like, again, you again, might have a lot well, of nukes again, and also a lot of nutrients. We have, to be, we have to be fair. Like, Russian food, yeah, exactly. Russian food is far more expensive than American food. But yes, Russian food is far more regulated than American food. So I want to... Just go through this little okay. quick, though, for Christians, though. Blessed are the peacemakers. Number two, which is fighting for the unborn, something I care about, which I know Donald Trump is not nearly as pro-life as I am. I wish he was more pro-life, but the, it is what it is. When did that stop? Because didn't he fight for that? He was always pro-life, and he gave us the reversal of Roe versus Wade. It didn't stop. What, what has happened is he's been met with a political hurricane where the country is not pro-life. And yeah, but that doesn't mean stand down on what your morals he, are. He hasn't. He has stood by the reversal of Roe versus Wade, sending it back to the states. He has always been against late-term abortion. He's been consistent on that. He has said that we need you know, exceptions for rape, death, and life of the mother. And he's and look, there are 10 states that have now completely abolished abortion, which is thanks to Donald Trump. And right. we as Christians should celebrate that and say thank you, Donald Trump, mm -hmm. for giving us that once-in-a-generation type victory. I want to incorporate number two and three together really quick for Christians should care about. Borders are biblical. The, there's an entire book of the Bible that is dedicated to building the wall, the book of Nehemiah, which literally is the build the wall book, where Donald Trump... Uh, <laughs> so Donald Trump stole that... <laughs> <laughs> we should just call him Nehemiah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, um, which literally the whole book is about uh, building a wall. But borders are biblical. Without borders, you don't have countries. We know that God's plan for humanity is not a one-world government. We know that in Genesis 11, which is the city of Babel, where Nimrod tried to build a one-world government upon himself with no borders, one language, one culture. God said, "No, we are not okay with that," and scattered the languages amongst the people. That was us. I, I that I, I'm aware the <laughs> the the great. The great, the greats. <laughs> Don't learn from us, guys. We uh, we messed up. <laughs> but yeah, no, I I, I agree N with Nimrod all was your people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, it's so funny because when people bring that up to me, I just like smile. Like that's the only part of the series that they bring up. Whatever. But it, was also, it was also a great civilization. But they were the, smart. They created math. They created uh, wrestling, uh, astronomy. Yeah, yeah. They, they do. They created me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so. Going back to kind of like talking about how RFK is going to, you know, he's really passionate about making mm -hmm. America healthy again. And I remember that when we were speaking to him, he was talking about how we need to kind of, we need to fix the soil. Like it starts with the soil. Yeah, it does. So what's his plan in order to kind of help these farmers all around America completely fix the soil? Because that's going to be a really big job. Yeah, it's very complicated. And, and I don't mean to intrude that, but when I hear that, I also think there's people that are getting paid big bucks to poison us. How is he going to get to that? If we're talking about the root and the soil, we got to get to the wolves and the sheep clothing. Yeah, so we have to go even more elementary, unfortunately. We first need to make sure that our medical literature and our data is not corrupted by people that have conflict of interest. So, we learned this in COVID, it was. Yes, and so I, I know that this, the soil seems like it's the foundational issue. We first need to build political consensus and <coughs> medical consensus that we are being actively poisoned. Because here's the problem, mm -hmm. guys. It's so obvious to us, right? We see what's in these cereals. We see Xanthan gum and blue dye 22 and red dye 17, yeah. right? And we see that Reese's peanut butter cups literally have a derivative of petroleum in them. Legit, you guys can fact check it. No it, wonder it's the bomb. It so explodes so in it explodes <laughs> in your mouth. So, 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 Some so, so, foods are literally <laughs> like a percent <laughs> away from being plastic. Cool. And now kids like toss, parents have been taking their kids off of like you know all different dyes and they see behavioral changes like kids are losing their minds throwing tantrums and then they change their diet and they can act normal yeah, How's it yeah going, again, i'm not saying that cereal causes autism but i will say that some ingredients in cereal have been shown to show attentive attention deficit disorder learning and memory focus issues and other countries do not have the same rates of autism that we do have in this country. It's about 1 in 22 in California now, 1 in 30 kids in the country have autism or some sort of issue on the spectrum. Watching it was the 1 in 30,000, 25 to 30. I'm watching the George Janko podcast. 30 years ago. 
Wow. So some 